on the stage, mm -hmm. um, what, what kind of people do you get on the Village Witch stage? Yeah. What are we talking about yeah. this week? So at the Village Witch stage, we usually talk about um, traditional and alternative healing modalities. A lot of like kind of top name herbalists, you know, it's so great that we can even say that there's top name herbalists. Right. Now, you know, right. It's yeah. So no, great. 15, um, 20 years ago, it was. We're so fringe. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Now, we were still being started, threatened with. Yeah. having supplements taken from the shelves and yeah, stuff, exactly, you know, exactly. And Costa Rica is a great place to practice because, uh -huh. you know, we're, you know, when I ask my students, like who here's grandparents gave you herbal medicine and it's always the Latinos and the Asians that put their hands up, you know, a lot of us that come from like North America or the EU or something, it's been so removed from our reality. Um, you know, so, so we're trying to bring it back and we're in such a renaissance and here in Latin America in particular with practicing, um, I'll have to say the World Health Organization is amazing for this because they set the standard that people have the right to practice their traditional medicine. And so for countries that are technically in the global south, even though Costa Rica doesn't feel like the global south, and it's very developed, um, we are still mm -hmm. in that, like we have a right to practice. And I love that because we're in this like gray zone and also like in our rights to be here and it's very accepted and when you talk to like medical professionals and veterinarians even in this country like they're super open to it you know and they're not like oh that's bullshit you know like yeah. some of the doctors in north america may say yeah you, but people well, they're, they're very few generations removed from that exactly yeah. yeah exactly and so you know here practicing you know we will feature these herbalists you know who have done a lot of the groundwork they've been in it clinical practitioners um you know folks who are writing you know and teaching but some of the bigger voices you know out there who are giving you know that um voice you know to the plants and the people together and everything so that's really exciting like last year for example we had paul stamets which was like a big highlight for us you know he's one of the leading mycologists like globally he just had a mushroom named after him stemetsy like a psilocybin stemetsy or something like that i just yeah. saw um you know this year we have uh, this woman abriel donea she has a project called beauty herbs and tea as well as the black girly farmer um and so she's an herbalist out of atlanta who is giving a lot of voice to the traditional medicine on it that way. We have um, Adriana Ayalis this year, who is the founder of Anima Mundi, who's a Costa Rican mm -hmm. herbalist. In the past, we've had like Rosemary Gladstar and Brigitte Mars and Seven Song, who's one of my teachers. If you don't know, you should check all of them out. They're just Mimi Hernandez, who is the director of the American Herbalist Guild. Um, Susan Leopold, who's the director of United Plant Savers. So like a lot of, you know, people who are just it's so yeah. powerful, Sarah. You and created a stage yeah, and you called these <laughs> heroes together yeah. and and these these folks come into the festival mm -hmm. get the blessing of being able to soak it up. It's yeah, really it. it's yeah. it's just awesome. 